So recently, there was a post on Twitter over here that explained that people that were using at.admt.com links in their URLs were 404ing. In this video, what I thought I would do is explain why that's actually happened and give you a bit of background. Facebook analytics. So there was a company called Atlas DMT and Facebook bought Atlas DMT a few years back. So that's the kind of history lesson, if you like. Basically, Atlas DMT was a sort of tracking platform and Facebook analytics, certainly I used it in my agency and it was really helpful. A bit complicated to set up, but ultimately quite helpful in terms of the attribution modeling that we used to do with it. Recently, Facebook said they're not going to support it. I think it was August of last year, 2021, they decided to just scrap um, the, the actual platform itself. They continued to support it until the 1st of October this year, 2022. And then at that point in time, they basically said they were shuttering the entire content. So I think a lot of people have been bashing Google, basically saying it's Google's fault. It's not Google's fault. It's actually Facebook's fault. But what's effectively happened is a lot of people um, the recommendations from Facebook Analytics was to use a tracking template in the account level. Uh, so a lot of people have got in this kind of account settings and in the account settings, there would be a tracking URL, which would have a URL that would send the traffic to Atlas DMT. Uh, and then Facebook would then send it on to your ultimate destination which would be the second bit of the URL. So what's happened now is that obviously the first bit of the URL is not working. So to rectify this, what you need to do is you need to go into Google Ads Editor. And if you apply a filter, you'll be able to see, because again, as much as the recommendation was for you to apply the, the tracking template to the account level, I think a lot of people have found that they've got these rogue Atlas DMT tracking templates in campaigns and ads and ad sets and keywords and site links and whatever. So the best way to do that would be to go into Google Ads Editor and I'll pay, paste the link there in terms of how you can actually see how that works. Apply a filter and in that filter, what you want to be looking for is you want to be looking for the string. So it probably makes sense to make it ADMT. I'll post the link here so you can actually see what you need to search for in the filters. It will basically look through the entire account and find any instances of it. Now, one thing I would say is that there's a lot of accounts that I audit when I look at them. There's a huge number of basically old campaigns and ad groups and ads that people have had running in the past. A lot of them are for uh, ad types that you can't actually run anymore. So to going in and changing the Atlas DMT and removing it isn't going to work because the link, you can't change the link in an ad that's basically redundant now. So what I would recommend you do is any campaigns that have these Atlas DMT links, I would suggest that you go in and you just delete the whole campaign. Now it sounds a bit draconian, but in all honesty, if you're running ads that are so old, that's the, the, the old uh, expanded text ads or text ads from before, they're not something you can replicate anymore. And ultimately, even if you delete them, they're still available in the campaign. They just won't be available to be resurrected. So hope this video helped you to understand a little bit better about what the problem has been and what the solution is. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them in the comments below. Uh, and what I would recommend is that you watch this video. This talks a little bit about Facebook tracking templates and why it's beneficial for you to do that. So I'll catch you on the next video.